Peggy 12. I now know that even in the vastness of universe, there are others like us. People looking for answers. That gives me hope and makes the great distance from home just a little smaller. My name is Erin Avett. I'm a voice actor for video games and animation, and I provide the voice for Kate in Scars Above. Kate is the protagonist of our Scars Above. Ona je naučnica koja zajedno sa svojim timom je poslata u zemlju na orbitu da istraži metahedron. Well, Kate did go through some survival training prior to her her stint with the Scar team, but she's no soldier. So, unlike a lot of video game protagonists who go into these situations gun blazing, um, you know, she approaches it from more of a, a scientific perspective. We didn't want someone who uh, is uh, encased in impenetrable armor. Uh, we wanted someone who uh, gets scared, who gets emotional, but has tremendous willpower. Kate is obviously really capable and, and smart, uh, but she's also a regular human and she gets emotional, she gets scared. And uh, we wanted a character who uh, is, is not fearless, but uh, rather overcomes her fears using her mind. On a practical mission specialist, Paula, engineer Paula Nauchnik. And uh, in many ways, this is the point of the story, is to use knowledge and science against the uh, darkness of ignorance. A lot of things uh, in the world come from that darkness of ignorance, from that lack of knowledge, lack of science. I think because of Kate's background and training, she's not one to want to mix research and science with emotion. But I think throughout her journey on the planet and seeing what's become of it and what's become of the inhabitants there, she's forced to kind of reckon with her ethics in a way that she never really has had to do in the past. But then we also show another thing in the game, which is uh, what happens when science uh, is left without empathy, without compassion, and like it, it goes, you know, the pendulum swings on the other side and uh, to the other side, and they, there is also a situation when, when things can go dark there as well. With everything she encounters, she can come at it from a scientific perspective, but she does have to have some empathy for what she's witnessing. Um, and I think it forces her to kind of think about how she feels about this, this technological, uh, biological um, research that she's discovering. And she needs to know how she feels about it and if it's worth it. Pa generalno Kate prati ta tehnologija koju je ponela sa naše planete. Ovaj, samim tim ona je uspela da se prilagodi na toj alien planeti, da je dobro istraži i da iskoristi sve resurse koje je tamo mogla da nađe, da craftuje određene abilitije i weapone kako bi prevozišla prepreke koje su pred njom. So the inspiration for Kate comes from several places. Uh, one of them is from a viewpoint, from a belief that uh, some of the worst things in the world uh, come from a place of fear and lack of knowledge. I wanted a character who embodies this fight uh, where you have uh, reason and, and science on one side and terror and fear on, on the other. As fear is the most powerful emotion. When you actually experience it in real life, it is overwhelming and you really don't get to enjoy the feeling, it really just kind of takes over. So there's this pleasure in experiencing it through someone else's journey. So we knew we wanted to make uh, uh, an action game, a, a shooting action game, but we didn't want to use uh, you know, standard guns and, and military equipment, which you usually find in such games. We want to give it a twist. And considering the story, we want to use science as a narrative tool, uh, but also as a kind of gameplay mechanic. We wanted to gamify science. Combat in Scar Zabavu is, as we said, 
spor i metodičan. I mi smo htjeli da napravimo tu vrstu kombata gde je glavni izazov biranja alata ili oružja kojim se Kate služi i da kažem, aiming izazov postoji, znači ništa refleksi, ništa toliko brze reakcije, nego više onako mentalna priprema za taj kombat kod igrača. Pored samih weapona radila je i na abilitijama koje je dalje koristila, koje su je, znači nisu direktno radile damage na enemijima, ali su je taktički pomagale da ih prevezeću. Ona tako postaje moćnija, znači ne postaje moćnija tako što odjednom je jača, radi više damage-a, nego ima sve više i više alata na svom raspolaganju i onda može da ih kombinuje na razne načine. I think a lot of fans of sci-fi, of cosmic horror, of, of, of classical sci-fi stories, uh, of good stories in general, uh, and then of course fans of shooting games and, and uh, you know, but more like tactical and methodical shooting games and also fans of challenging games, I think they will all find something to love in Scars Above. I can't wait for players to get to explore this world and um, fight alongside Kate. I had so much fun recording for her and learning alongside her and going on this journey with her. And I think players are going to have a lot of fun in this dark, creepy, dangerous, but fantastical world. Thank you.